Okay, here we are, page two. Find the area between the two curves on the interval from zero to one. And let me get the right pen. So, on the interval from zero to one, uh, I didn't even write down what these curves were. So, the first curve here, the, the quadratic function would be y equals x squared. So, let's make sure we put that in y equals x squared. And the other curve, you may have guessed already it's y equals x to the third and so it really leaves us very little room okay and so I blew it up over on the right so anyway the area between these two curves from 0 to 1 would be this little area right there which is really really hard to see so we're gonna blow it up and we're just gonna look at the interval from 0 to 1 right here let me just back this up just a little bit okay so there you can see that and the top curve then would be the y equals if you look over to the left you can see that the top curve is actually y equals x cubed sorry y equals x squared and the bottom curve is the y equals x cubed and you can see if you just make an xy chart for each one if you plug in 0 for each one you get 0 and if you plug in 1 for each one you get 1 so we know that the these two curves intersect at 0 0 and 1 1 so really we can see this a little bit better here this is the area we want to find now up until now you've only been able to find the area only tried to find the area underneath a curve or the net area between the curve and the x-axis but the same principles work when we're finding the area between two curves so if we have two functions we want to find the area and if you remember back when we found the area underneath the curve between the curve and the x-axis all we did was we drew a rectangle and we found the area of one rectangle and we integrated from left to right to find the area of the whole region okay well the same thing works Okay, so we're just going to find the area of one rectangle. Okay, so let's write down right underneath here that the area, remember the integral, and the integral is uh, when you add up an infinite number of things. So those things are going to be areas of rectangles. So we're going to integrate from the left endpoint, which would be the left point of intersection, the x coordinate. 0 all the way to the right endpoint, the right boundary of this region, which would be 1. And what are we adding up? Well, we're adding up the, the area of one rectangle. And the area of one rectangle would be the length of the rectangle multiplied by the width of the rectangle. Okay, so if you can just keep that in mind, it really makes it pretty easy. Because we know what the length of the rectangle is. Uh, let me label it. This right here is the length right there. Okay, so the length of this, the distance of this line segment, which would be the length of the rectangle, would be just what we just talked about. The top minus the bottom. And the top minus the bottom, the top curve, depending on what x, doesn't matter, it's the top function, x squared, minus the bottom function, x cubed. So that's the length. Okay. Now let's write that in. And I wrote it in blue. Let's keep going. So the length of this rectangle would be the x squared minus the x cubed. And multiply by what? What's the, what's the width? So try to figure out what I'm going to write down before I do this. So the width is this little length right there I shouldn't say that the width right here the width of the rectangle will just be a little change in X okay which we just call DX okay and so the DX represents the width of the rectangle so we have length times the width that's it all we have to do is to integrate this is just use our power rule x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4 evaluated from 0 to 1 which would be 1 third minus 1 fourth minus and then the 0 
Well, that's just going to be 0. 0 minus 0. So we get 1 third minus 1 fourth, which is 1 twelfth. And I didn't show you that. I talked about it, but there we go. So 1 twelfth is the area of the region between the two curves. That's it.